What is LIFI? LIFI may soon rewrite the history of communication technology. LIFI claims to be 100 times faster than standard Wi Fi. But what exactly is it? LIFI is a bi directional, high speed, and fully networked wireless communication technology similar to Wi Fi. The term was coined by scientist Harold Huss and is a form of optical wireless communications, OWC, and uses the visible spectrum as well as ultraviolet and infrared radiation. LIFI could be a complement to RF communication, Wi-Fi or cellular networks, or even a replacement in contexts of data broadcasting. It is currently being developed by many organizations all over the world. It is wire and UV visible light communication or infrared and near ultraviolet instead of radio frequency spectrum, part of optical wireless communications technology, which carries much more information and has been proposed as a solution to the RF bandwidth limitations. Scientist Professor Harold Hers FRSE is German, Professor of Mobile Communications at the University of Edinburgh and is the person who coined the term LEAF. Hers was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society of Edinburgh in 2017. Someday the last leg of our communication networks might not depend on a modulated radio signal but on a modulated light signal from an LED bulb in a desk lamp or ceiling fixture. IEEE senior member Harold Huss has developed a visible light communication system he calls Light Fidelity, or LEAF, which relies on nanometer waves in the infrared and visible light part of the electromagnetic spectrum to transmit data generated by an LED bulb fitted with a microchip. Huss demonstrated in 2011 how light fidelity technology works in a TED Global Talk. Viewers dubbed him the father of LEAF. Professor Harold Huss coined the term LEAF at his 2011 TED Global Talk where he introduced the idea of wireless data from every light. He is a chair professor of mobile communications at the University of Edinburgh and co-founder of Pure LEAF, the general term visible light communication, VLC, whose history dates back to the 1880s includes any use of the visible light portion of the electromagnetic spectrum to transmit information. The D-Light project at Edinburgh's Institute for Digital Communications was funded from January 2010 to January 2012. Huss promoted this technology in his 2011 TED Global Talk and helped start a company to market it. Pure Leaf, formerly Pure VLC, is an original equipment manufacturer, OEM, firm set up to commercialize Leaf products for integration with existing LED lighting systems. A LED comb. French company founded by PRCU at Topsy from Paris Sackley University. In October 2011, companies and industry groups formed the LEAFI Consortium to promote high speed optical wireless systems and to overcome the limited amount of radio based wireless spectrum available by exploiting a completely different part of the electromagnetic spectrum. A number of companies offer unidirectional VLC products which is not the same as LEAFI, a term defined by the IEEE 802.15.7 R1 Standardization Committee. VLC technology was exhibited in 2012 using LEAFI. By August 2013, data rates of over 1.6 gigabits per second were demonstrated over a single color LED. In September 2013, a press release said that LEAFI or VLC systems in general, do not require line-of-sight conditions. In October 2013, it was reported Chinese manufacturers were working on LEAFI development kits. In April 2014, the Russian company Stinskamen announced the development of a LEAFI wireless local network called Beamcaster. Their current module transfers data at 1.25 GB per second but they foresee boosting speeds up to 5 GB per second in the near future. In 2014 a new record was established by Cysoft, a Mexican company, that was able to transfer data at speeds of up to 10 GB per second across the light spectrum emitted by LED lamps. Recent integrated MOSO optical receivers for LEAFI systems are implemented with Avalanche photodiodes, APDs, which has a low sensitivity. In July 2015, IEEE has operated the APD in Geiger mode as a single photon avalanche diode, SPAD, to increase the efficiency of energy usage and makes the receiver more sensitive. 
Also this operation could be performed as quantum limited sensitivity that makes receivers detect weak signals from far distant standards like Wi-Fi. LEAF is wireless and uses similar 802.11 protocols, but it uses ultraviolet, infrared and visible light communication, instead of radio frequency waves, which has much bigger bandwidth. One part of VLC is modeled after communication protocols established by the IEEE 802 workgroup. However, the IEEE 802.15.7 standard is out of date. It fails to consider the latest technological developments in the field of optical wireless communications, specifically with the introduction of optical orthogonal frequency division multiplexing OOFDM, modulation methods which have been optimized for date rates, multiple access and energy efficiency. The introduction of OOFDM means that a new drive for standardization of optical wireless communications is required. Nonetheless, the IEEE 802.15.7 standard defines the physical layer, PHY, and media access control, MAC, layer. The standard is able to deliver enough data rates to transmit audio, video and multimedia services. It takes into account optical transmission mobility, its compatibility with artificial lighting present in infrastructures, and the interference which may be generated by ambient lighting. The MAC layer permits using the link with the other layers as with the TCP IP protocol. The standard defines three PHY layers with different rates. The PHY1 was established for outdoor application and works from 11.67 kilobits per second to 267.6 kilobits per second. The PHY2 layer permits reaching date rates from 1.25 megabits per second to 96 megabits per second. The PHY3 is used for many emission sources with a particular modulation method called color shift keying, CSK. PHY3 can deliver rates from 12 megabits per second to 96 megabits per second. The modulation formats recognized for PHY1 and PHY2 are on-off keying, OOC, and variable pulse position modulation, VPPM. The Manchester coding used for the PHYI and PHY2 layers includes the clock inside the transmitted data by representing a logic 0 with an OOC symbol 01 and a logic 1 with an OOC symbol 10, all with a DC component. The DC component avoids light extinction in case of an extended run of logic zeros. The first VLC smartphone prototype was presented at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas from 7 to 10 January in 2014. The phone uses Sun Partners WISIPS Connect, a technique that converts light waves into usable energy, making the phone capable of receiving and decoding signals without drawing on its battery. A clear thin layer of crystal glass can be added to small screens like watches and smartphones that make them solar-powered. Smartphones could gain 15% more battery life during a typical day. The first smartphones using this technology should arrive in 2015. This screen can also receive VLC signals as well as the smartphone camera. The cost of these screens per smartphone is between $2 and $3, much cheaper than most new technology. Philips Lighting Company has developed a VLC system for shoppers at stores. They have to download an app on their smartphone and then their smartphone works with the LEDs in the store. The LEDs can pinpoint where they are located in the store and give them corresponding coupons and information based on which aisle they are on and what they are looking at. Like and share this video and for more news and updates subscribe to our YouTube channel.